From now on, this is just as much your fault as it is your sister's. You're 11 years old, and you can say no to an experiment. So from now on, if there's any transformations in this house, you are going to be held accountable and punished. Now, your father and I are going out for the first time in 11 years, and we feel we can leave you kids alone for the three hours it will take for your father and I to have a bite and see a sappy girly movie your father will hate. I want no trouble, because for once, once... I'd like to spend an afternoon with a woman I love, no matter how bad the girly movie will be. No trouble! We'll be back at 5 p.m. Awesome! A day with no parents! And I got the whole afternoon plan. Movies you're not old enough to see, two liters of root beer, each, and sausages! Tons of sausages! Speed McCool and if you're 11, you shouldn't be watching this. I love you, man. Okay, Psycho Sisters, if you need me, I'll be with... Uh... Hey, where did they go? Oh, look at the cute baby twins. <laughs> baby twins! <laughs> Don't say anything or we will ban you from the lab for life. Mom and Dad will be home at 5, so place us in the baby transformer at 455 and press the activation code 4321, then hit undo. This is so uncool! Oh, uh, what now? Hey, congrats, Johnny Bro, on your family's new blessings. Skill, I don't understand. Your new baby sisters. That's why I'm here. I just started a babysitting service. Okay, now I understand. Hey, I think they like me. Oh, you have no idea. Ooh, a violent speed McCool movie. You shouldn't be watching this, Johnny. <laughs> Somebody's cranky. Here, babies, you play with these plastic bags while Gil checks what's in the fridge. Keep you, keep you, keep. Did he just give babies plastic bags to play with? Give me those. Johnny bro, do you mind watching your little sisters in case they need a change? A change? Oh, I'll give them a change. I'm gonna change them back to my evil sisters because they will not ruin my no parents night party super jam. The code's not working. <laughs> Why isn't the code working? Johnny, we know you will try and change us, but the code only works at 455. Now put us in Gil's arms, dork, or no lab favors, ever. Fine. You want Gil? You can have Gil. Johnny, I hope you don't mind, but I whipped up some piping hot chili. I can't watch. I gotta go, too. Bye. You know, there's a good chance Gil will maim your sisters for life. Hey, this is what they wanted. Who am I not to grant their wishes? Their brother, who is supposed to love and protect them. No, I'm the brother who loves No Parent Root Beer Super Game Fest Monster Jam. Now let's party. <laughs> Shoot me all the looks you want, dog. I'm not going down there. Are you nuts? 
<laughs> babies like chili, right? No, chili is bad for babies. They need strained crud. So mash up some carrots with olive oil and create a nice baby mush. Wow, thanks, Johnny. You are one smart and cool big bro ham. Huh, maybe I am. Now, feed them, burp them, and get them to bed while I finally celebrate no parent root beer goof off a balloon. Root beer in movies we're not supposed to be watching is like so great and... Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Johnny! Johnny, the babies! They smell really, really bad! And that's why you need to change their diapers. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. What? It's your job. It's what you're getting paid for. Now get in there and show the world that you are the greatest babysitter ever. You're right, Johnny. I gotta believe I'm going in. Gil fainted. <laughs> what are we gonna do? You gotta change them. What? Because you're a dog. What's that got to do with anything? Because I'm a boy. A boy who can be scarred for life and resist ever having a family of his own if he suffers this kind of trauma at an early, impressionable age. We'll do it together. Hey, I just woke up and the babies don't smell anymore. Okay, babies, now it's time to play Jumpy Wumpy on the convertible couchy wouchy. <laughs> we can't be serious. That's it. I'm cracking the code and changing them back right now. <laughs> and I have no idea how to crack the code. It's Johnny. Yeah. Hey, Susan told me she wants to go on a date with you. <laughs> Did you say Susan wants to go on a date with me? <laughs> Is that what I said? Well, what I meant was, Susan and Mary are babies and I need you to crack a computer code. That was a dirty trick, Johnny Test. But a good one. Why should I help? You get to hold Susan and for the first time, she won't slap you. Oh, look. I'm holding Susan and she's not resisting me. Oh, baby Susan, not even your spit-up can drive me away. Huh. Huh? Uh, where's Mary? Gil, please tell me you saw a little baby with a moon barrette in her hair recently. I did, I did see a baby with a moon barrette. She just crawled out the front door. Huh? You are the worst babysitter ever! I know, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Flip a coin? Yeah. Heads! I hate flippy coins! I'm gonna make it! Gotcha! Why are you not in the lab cracking the code so I can get my sisters back to normal? I came to tell you I can't crack the code. Oh, and Susan's on the roof. <laughs> Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Just letting you know the movie was so girly, it made your dad throw up. Shoes. Shoes and ex-boyfriends everywhere. So we're coming home, and I don't want anything else upsetting him. So please have things tidy when we get home in about 10 minutes. You bet, Mom. Love ya. Ah, my mom and dad are coming home early. Oh, dude. Ear toes. Ah! Hey, check out the roof, baby. You can do this, Test. You changed the poopy diaper today. You can get up on that roof and save your sister. Ah, here you go. It's a pocket rocket. I invented it this morning. No, wait, I don't want to... Johnny, bro, you okay? Speak to me. Again, you are the worst babysitter ever. And this is so not fair. You ruined my no-parent Super Jam party fest, and now I'm gonna get in trouble because you're transformed and Dad said no transformations! See? I told you babies like chili. Wait, they're not eating it. They're trying to send a message. Oh, 
It's numbers. No, it's a new code to unlock the baby transformer before 455. <laughs> Hurry, we don't have much time. Do you realize how hurt you could have gotten? And... I forgive you. And here's your next history paper. It's on the fall of Rome. I forgive you too. The mom and dad are home. And look! Oh, you guys have got to try this chili. Hmm. Johnny, have an idea. I got it fast! No explosions. She said I love you over and over and... Thanks, kids. After a horrifying movie like that, it's nice to come home to a beautiful, clean house. And it's obvious you're all responsible enough to be left alone from now on. Oh, great job, kids. Ooh, is that Speed McCool? Oh, a manly movie with violence and no issues with his mother. I have to watch it! <laughs> Uh, why, uh, good evening, Mrs. Test. And congrats on your new baby girls. New baby girls? Oh, so, so close. close. Oh. 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 Bored? There's nothing to do. I'm dying. Inside. You could read the paper. Nah, too reedy. We could play some sort of sporty thing with a ball that bounces. Too exercisey. How about teleporting? Teleporting is fun. Tub! Teleporting? Forget it. We are not gonna fire the transparticalizer just because you guys are bored. But you can help us test our latest advance in the lab. Oh, I don't like the look of that. You're not gonna give up, are ya? No! How about a nice cheap camping vacation? I hate camping. How about a nice expensive Hawaiian vacation? I hate expensive! All I want is fun, but they test slidey thingy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Face my rat, sisters! I'm sure he's fine. They wanna play rough? Well, Johnny can play rough too. What's that? Let's just say it's a plan I've been working on for a long time, and the time to use it is now. You're kind of freaking me out, dude. <laughs> Listen up. I want access to the transparticalizer, or I'll use this. I mean it! What is that? Water and green food coloring? <laughs> I broke into the lab last week and mixed a bunch of stuff together from the unstable cabinets. What? Johnny, are you crazy? Yes. Noisy says, I've never seen him like this. He's lost his mind. Take the keys. Just leave the unstable mixture behind. <laughs> never underestimate the desperation of a bored 11 year old boy. Now, transporting powers, go! I'm so not bored anymore. By the way, what was in that bottle? <laughs> Analysis complete. Water and green food dye. He tricked us. Okay, let's start plotting our revenge, shall we? You're not wearing an all-day wristband, and I'm pretty sure that is a dog. So, security! Hey, you! Get your hands up! Uh-huh. You got it. No problem. And then I put him down and... Transport! Ah! Uh, I'm gonna pretend I never saw that. Yeah, me too. The arcade! Nice. And check this out! <laughs> All day game access card. I love you. <laughs> and I love transporting. And I love my sisters for falling for my stupid plan. Get it done! 
What Johnny doesn't realize is that when he transports, his broken down molecules are filtered through the transparticalizer's main frame. Which means if we reconfigure it, i.e. mess with the sensors, we can send Johnny to less desirable destinations. Thus, teaching him the dangers of transporting and more importantly, the dangers of tricking us. Now, this might spark a bit. What is going on? Listening to rock music? We're trying to plan a vacation here and... Where's Johnny? Did you do something with Johnny? Uh, did you say vacation? Where are we going uh, on vacation? We can't decide. I suggested an economical at-home vacation full of puzzles, barbecues, and movies. And I suggested a tropical island that is not lame like an at-home vacation. A tropical island? Do you plan on robbing a bank? Girls, you might want to leave. This is about to get ugly. <laughs> nice redirect with the vacation inquiry. And kudos with the rock music lie. Thanks. Now let's destroy Johnny. Rerouting Johnny and Dookie's next transporting location. Done. Now let's see how Johnny likes train trestles. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that laugh is getting way too creepy. Yeah, I got carried away, didn't I? <laughs> Where to next? Um, I always wanted to go to Russia and check out that building with the swirly tops. Then transport we will go, my hairy friend. <laughs> hey, this isn't the Kremlin. No, it's a train bridge and here comes the train! <laughs> We're in the zoo. Yeah, but why are those people behind the cage? They're not. We're in the cage! I bet my sisters are behind this. Run! I told you transporting was a bad idea. No, you didn't. Well, I'm telling you now! Just transport out! <laughs> Let's send Johnny someplace super exciting that he will totally love. You mean like a woman's clothing store? I'm thinking boring art museum. Oh, you are so wicked. Thanks. <laughs> Where are we? I can't look. I think it's that Frenchie museum I learned about in art class. And oh, my boring ache is acting up again. We're at the Louvre? Awesome. We're safe. We're safe. <laughs> Aidez-nous, s'il vous plaît. Uh, say what? Uh, he says he needs help. Hey, isn't that painting famous? Oh, no. We're helping steal priceless art! That's bad, right? Really bad. Work. It is believed this boy and this kid with a rare hair disorder were the lookouts in the heist of the world's most priceless art. If anyone knows the identity of these two dangerous master criminal fugitives, please contact the police. Oh, this is so not good. Mom and Dad are surfing the web and they'll see the news alert. Move out! I want to go to a tropical island! I want to stay here and save money! Is that Johnny on the computer? The computer is broken! We'll take it upstairs to fix it! Did I just see Johnny on the computer? No! Uh-oh. Johnny is on the computer! And if Johnny's home, won't that lead the manhunt home too? Manhunt? Did you say manhunt? This is the FBI! We want the kid! This is their fault. Our fault? You're the one who blackmailed us to give me the technology. Who lets an 11-year-old transparticalize? They're crazy. Are you kidding me? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and oh, my boring ache is acting up again. Well, at least we know where we're going to spend our vacation. In jail. Girls, do something. You're geniuses. 
Uh, we got nothing. But I do. To the lab! <laughs> Quick, transport the house to a deserted island. What? That will never work. This, this is, is your last, last chance, chance, and don't, don't try to do anything dangerous. dangerous. We're going to try something dangerous. What are you doing? That doesn't look safe. Hold me. You kids are all in a lot of trouble. We, we know. know. This is your last chance, and don't try to do anything foolish. Move in. Oh. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Yeah, me, me too. too. Mom and Dad, we'll write a virus program that will wipe Johnny from all the world's computer memory banks and delete the footage of Johnny and Dookie on the security tapes, thus freeing them from any wrongdoing in the art heist. But it will take about three days. Huh? Uh, they left about two minutes ago. Three days? You better make it a week. And we're not gonna punish you this time. <sighs> we think you learned your lesson about the dangers of teleporting. And that lesson is, if we ever get in trouble, just transport Mom and Dad to a free private island vacation paradise. Yeah! yeah this is gonna nice be an job, awesome everybody. vacation. Yeah.